We are in the last hours, just after five. Good evening. I'm William Lahong. Nandi Pamaguru Mana is back in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court and she continues applying for bail. Now, yesterday, Maguru Mana told the court that rapist and murderer Tabu Besta forced her to flee the country. Now, the state is opposing bail, saying Maguru Mana will try to evade justice. However, the state is also uh, having to reach an agreement for the heads of argument to be exchanged by the 1st of September. Our senior reporter on the story is Lindy Lemasikane, who joins us live right now from the court. Lee, welcome and good evening. What's the crux of Lamini's argument today? Well, in essence, what we heard from Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana's lawyer in his closing arguments was, in essence, telling the court that the information that was put forward by the state in opposition uh, by way of an affidavit from the investigating officer, saying that that information was, in essence, irrelevant to the bail proceedings, also saying that much of what was stated in terms of the the charges and the allegations was not confirmed by way of confirmatory affidavits. Uh, also saying that uh, the charge sheet uh, and also what is stated in the affidavit uh, doesn't co corroborate um, and in essence saying that uh, it's unsubstantiated but also uh, bringing forward that uh, much of that affidavit um, are issues that are going to be ventilated at trial stage. Uh, he says that uh, his client's affidavit was much more uh, straightforward, much more pointed to the issues uh, which are relevant to the bail application. Let's take a listen. The nature of evidence upon which the state relies upon is of a very poor nature is unsubstantiated, notwithstanding the fact that they make reference to so many people and the fact that they have even obtained their affidavits, but they never even attempted to file just the one confirmatory affidavit, nothing whatsoever. And of course, then this begs the question, Slee, I mean, the timing of this application, is it problematic? Not really, but uh, it might be brought forward in terms of the state's closing arguments because remember, Makutumana has been in custody since um, April, meaning she's been in custody for about four months now. And uh, we did see her releasing a statement last week, which did signal that something uh, was coming. And now in her bail application, um, she's telling the courts that, in fact, uh, the issues around her being a flight risk are, in essence, null and void because she uh, never fled the country. She alleges that Besta uh, was the one who forced her out of the country and uh, that uh, she was threatened and that she is a victim herself. But what was interesting in the closing arguments was the issue about the defense now disputing uh, the schedule uh, in terms of uh, how this bail application is being heard. You'd remember that um, there was a, 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 an agreement agreement uh, between the state and the defense before we started the bail application yesterday that this was going to be a Schedule 5 bail application. This means that the onus is on Makudumana to show the courts that the interests of justice permit her release. Uh, but now during the closing arguments, we heard from Advocate Franz Lamini that they are disputing that this is a Schedule 5 uh, bail application, that it is instead a Schedule 1 bail application. Let's take a listen. If you're watching groups at the charge sheet before you, there are 16 counts. Out of those 16 counts, what makes this matter to be a Schedule 5? Looking into those charges, it's only count number three and count number four. 
The rest of other counts, they don't turn this whole matter into a schedule five. Because those are offenses that ordinarily falls under a schedule one. The court knows the onus and the standard of proof if a bail applicant is facing a schedule five. Lastly, did the state present its closing arguments? Not at all, and that is why we are seeing a postponement or an adjournment in this matter until the 4th of September. The state raising the issue that it now has to, um, uh, you know, rework uh, its uh, heads of argument because of this issue that's been raised around uh, the bail application and the schedule, saying that it needs more time now uh, to be able to address that particular issue. Let's take a listen. Not, not, not today. Not today. The court shall have noted that there are issues that unfortunately has now been raised, one of which is very crucial and which is it relates to a schedule. I would not have anticipated that there will be uh, such argument on a schedule after we have agreed and the defense had indeed agreed that it is a schedule five so whatever i have prepared so far would not have dealt with the issue of schedule of, of the schedule therefore i need to work on my prepared heads of argument in that respect and you are not here tomorrow no? you are not here tomorrow I'm committing myself to the 1st of September. That was our senior reporter, Slinelo Masekana, live to us outside court. Thank you so much, Slee. Let's move on to the